What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Nail Reviews. So in this case I'm going to do a quick episode mostly just to do a recap of my most recent trip to Knott's Berry Farm in the form of Knott's Spooky Farm. So I had a chance to visit the park with some friends to um, hang out, go on some rides and that sort of stuff. It was a warm day so we're like you know what um, we want to get out for a little bit. So Basically the idea behind the day was just to go around, go on some water rides early like the log ride, um, the Calico River ride, and um, the mine ride. Um, I think that's all the water rides off the top of my head, but in any case, and then beyond that, you know, go on the roller coasters, hang out, walk around the park and that sort of stuff. But for me, I thought that I would take the opportunity to check out some of the decorations for Knott's Spooky Farm, which is basically the daytime events at Knott's Berry Farm, and then at night, the park turns into Knott's Scary Farm. So overall, I want to say that the decorations were pretty nice and nifty. They were enjoyable to see, um, notably Ghost Town and um fiesta village were the most decorated of the areas um the boardwalk roaring 20s area didn't have too much going on um which i thought was kind of strange but i was like you know what's the roaring 20s i'm sure they'll have something notably in the form of maybe the train conductor or something along those lines merging some of the roaring 20 stuff with ghost town i guess so um that aside overall it was pretty nice to see the decorations you got a lot of pumpkin part of pumpkins going on you have some, a lot more crows you have skeletons and um basically ghoulish kind of characters going on at the park um especially with uh, like with ghost town it's um, skeletons in the form of um, Old West clothed um, skeletons. You have um, skeletons playing the guitar and that sort of stuff. So um, in general it was good there and then for um, Fiesta Village it was related to Dia de los Muertos. So um, I thought that that was a nice touch there to um, continue the area with the culture. So, um, the log ride has a skeleton over it and eyes and things like that. So generally you can see that they're already in, uh, very much in on the theme of the, um, the spirit of the season and going all in as far as um, Halloween goes. So it's very nice to see all the decorations. Um, a lot of the um, not spooky farm um, celebrations don't actually start until I believe the 14th or the 16th, um, so a little bit after this episode. But if you are a uh, or if you have if you want to go early, you can actually definitely do that. It's not um, anything that's um, weird or un like random or, or like different or anything like that. It's one of those things where if you want to avoid the crowds or you want to get an early look at some of those decorations, you can definitely do that. Um, you're not going to be able to, you know, take part in maybe some of the extra Halloween related events and stuff. So that's going to be a little bit different, but you can always um, plan accordingly, like go during a weekday when it's a little bit lighter. For um, So for us, when like during our trip, I found that... Uh, in general, the park wasn't overly busy for most of the day. I want to say towards the middle of the or later in the day, so maybe after about 2.30 or so is when the park was a little bit busier. Um, I want to say Ghost Rider was probably the busiest ride. Um, we didn't get there until maybe 3.30 or 4 o'clock and the wait was probably, I want to say around a good 90 minutes to so two hours just based on how long I saw the line was. Um, where the line was going all the way through the buildings and out to the queue outside. Um, uh, we did have our fast lane passes, which um, we use here and there, so there is that as well. Um, so I guess take that with a grain of salt a little bit. We So on a few of the rides we did, so for example, like the log ride and Calico River Rapids, um, the lines were short enough to the point where we didn't have to use the fast lane pass, but once it did start getting later in the day, like for 
um, Silver Bullet and Accelerator and Ghost Rider. We did have to use it. Same thing with a Pony Express. I think the only ride that we didn't go on was Montezuma's Revenge. So um, not really ain't much to miss out on that as far as that goes. So for me, like, and then they have like, you know, like I believe I mentioned pumpkins and all that, like around Calico River Rise, the skeleton over the log ride. They have the big pumpkins set up on the boardwalk. Um, outside the mayor's office, they have skeletons and stuff going on there. The saloon has a few Halloween decorations. Um, nothing too special there, so I think maybe after the not spooky farm stuff events start is when they'll have more, maybe more stuff going on then. Um, I liked, of particular note, the um, scary looking face over the sign when you're heading towards the lake under um, Silver Bullet where they changed it to Forsaken Lake and they have this like demonish looking face on the sign. So if you've played like the video games for Doom and you've seen those scary faces on the walls to unlock the various doors and stuff, then that's kind of what it reminded me of. Um, in this um, episode guide artwork, you'll see I took, or you'll see an image with that face next to the skeleton over the log ride. So um, I like that particular shot, which was um, to me that was kind of unique and different. So I was able to take that um, in that area um, by Silver Bullet that you see a lot of like like. Um, different like coffin style doorways and stuff to walk into so I took a picture of one of those like a crypt kind of thing so um, basically a lot of good decorations going on um, the only ride that kind of didn't have very many decorations was the calico mine ride which was kind of strange they had like some bats and stuff but I want to say from a vague memory I think those were already there so I don't know if they're still going to add um, some like decorations or updates or stuff like that or maybe change some of the lighting um in the caverns like with the stalagmites and stalactites i think the music changed so i'm not sure if that's something that's still in progress or they're kind of holding off on what they're doing there until not spooky farm and scary farm start so that was the only thing that was kind of a bummer but in general overall if you're just enjoying a day in the park go on a couple of rides uh, maybe watch some shows once Spooky Farm starts, then definitely wor it's worth checking out and it's a good um, time. And for us, the park in general for the, for most of the day was pretty much not busy, mo probably mostly because of the heat, but also because um, it's a Sunday, um, probably because of school starting and um, the next day, or us going on a Sunday, probably because everyone is going to go to, has to go to school the next day or something like that, even though there were a lot of um, kids there, but it wasn't as busy I was as I would have expected. So in general, it was a pretty good uh, relaxing day at the park when we were able to see a lot of those decorations. Um, we did go on Berry Tales, and I don't think there was any particular decorations of note there, like on the ride. There might have been some random Halloween stuff, I think. Uh, we were kind of more focused on playing the game and trying to get a high score, but there's decorations outside and around that area. Um, and then as far as the speakeasy, I did push the buzzer once, and I didn't um, notice anything different with that. It was the same message for, as from the last trip that I took on August 13th. So um, that's really all there is for that. Um, I will have a link in the show note to some videos that I took. They're not really Halloween related or anything like that, but they are videos that I didn't get to take, or two of them are videos I didn't get to take from the last time I was at the park. Um, notably the mobile pianist guy that I saw last time, but I didn't take a video of, so I did see him standing in the shade and playing the piano. So I took a quick video of him there and then um, a quick conversation with Sad Eye Joe in Ghost Town. He's still there so you can have a conversation with him. Um, and then I took a quick rear view shot from, of the cal on the Calico Mine Ride as far as um, just taking an overview um, video uh, on the park. Um, so, uh, so nothing really special but you can see some of the lanterns they're already old west themed so they kind of fit in with the theme of halloween um and i don't think there's anything of note as far as decorations that you can tell but um it was just a it felt like a nice kind of ominous shot i don't think i got very much of the 
Um, or I didn't see, take too much of the tunnel, but in general, I just wanted to take a quick video there. So nothing special, but now I can round out those videos. Um, if you are a patron of the show, I will have a link in the show notes to the photos that I did take. So you can take, um, check out some of the high res, um, pictures, um, from the trip. So if you're not a supporter of the show, then de it's definitely a good time to become a supporter. So if you want to check out some of those decorations, then um, you can get those um, on the Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. The, and of course, if you want to check out the videos, or the, like I said, the link is in the show notes, but they're all um, up on YouTube on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, if you like this episode, want to com comment, provide feedback, give your thoughts on stuff you like or dislike about um, Not Spooky Farm or Scary Farm or your other amusement parks that you like as far as their Halloween events go, then you can comment on the Twitter at PatelN01 or also on the Patreon post as well if you're supporting the show already. Um, and of course, the website is headphonesneal.reviews for um, all the past links to the past episodes and all subscription links and support links to support the show and all of that good stuff. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.